Hello, my dear students. Very good morning to all of you. And you are in physics class right now. And you know very well we are talking about rotational motion. And in rotational motion, the moment of inertia is very very important parameter. Without moment of inertia, we cannot find any parameter. Okay, the moment of inertia is very important. And if we are changing the axis of rotation, moment of inertia will change. So, to find the moment of inertia when we are changing the axis, we can use parallel axis theorem and perpendicular axis theorem. Okay. But in this lecture, we are finding the moment of inertia of rectangular lamina about diagonal. In last lecture, we have find the moment of inertia of square lamina about diameter, but in this lecture, we are talking about rectangle. So, let us consider a rectangle and the length of this rectangle is L and width is B okay. and one diagonal let us consider this A C diagonal. We have to find this rectangular lamina rotating about this diagonal. Now, we have to find the moment of inertia of this rectangular lamina about this diagonal. So, what we have to do? We can divide this rectangular lamina into two triangle. Okay. So, it is triangle number 1, it is triangle number 2. Triangle A, B, C and triangle A, D, C we can divide into 2. And you know very well the moment of inertia of triangular lamina about the base is m h square divided by 6. Let us consider a triangular lamina and it is base. Okay. This lamina is rotating about the base. So, the moment of inertia about this base is equal to m h square divided by 6 already we have derived. This height is h. This moment of inertia will depend on h perpendicular distance. So, if we are dividing this rectangular lamina into two triangle, so we require this height. Okay, this diagonal will behave like base for a single triangle. So, we require this h. So, how we can find this h? Okay. Moment of inertia of one triangular lamina is m by 2. Since we are dividing whole lamina into two equal parts. So, mass of single part is m by 2 h square by 6, but we do not have any idea about h. So, we can find this h, this is our one triangle, this length is b h, okay. sorry b into l. So, area, okay. area of this triangle, what will be the area of this triangle? it is 1 by 2 b into l or 1 by 2 this height h into this base b. Okay. So, let us consider this diagonal of this length of this diagonal is d. So, d. So, 1 by 2 1 by 2 will cancel out. Okay. So, h is equal to what should be this d? It should be root of b square plus l square. What will be the hypotenuse of this triangle according to Pythagoras theorem? It is root b square plus l square. So, this h will become now b into l divided by root b square plus l square. Okay. So, it is h. So, moment of inertia of this first triangle is m by 12 into b l divided by root b square plus L square whole square. So, this I 1 which is equal to I 2 since both triangle is rotating about the diagonal about the base. So, I 1 equal to I 2 will be equal to now m by 12 B square L square divided by B square plus L square bracket. Okay. Now, total moment of inertia is equal to I 1 plus I 2. So, it is 
m 2 times m by 12 b square l square divided by b square plus l square. Okay. So, this is the formula this cancel out i is equal to m by 6 b square l square divided by b square plus l square. Yes, it is the answer. So, it is very easy question. Thank you very much.